I am married to someone who's very smart. She's getting a PhD in, uh, from a very prestigious school. Uh, she's brilliant. Despite this, I am not always the most interested or engaged conversationalist. I know, I am shocked. The problem is that I am a man, and so I cannot, <laughs> I cannot pay attention to when I'm not paying attention because I'm not paying attention. This is a very common problem. We, we uh, communicate all the time, and we never we hear what we say. And other people hear the literal content of what we say, but we don't understand um, all of the other things that are going into how we communicate with, with people. Uh, there's a researcher named Sandy Pentland from MIT, who also has a book out now by his aftermind, uh, that says that these, he calls these honest signals. These are the hidden signals that make up real communication. Uh, we don't know we're giving them out, but we're giving them out all the time. And if you can understand what they are, you can predict how different interactions are going to go. So if I stand here before you like this and I speak uh, in a sort of a monotone voice, somewhat Thomas Jefferson-like, think Hall of Presidents at Disneyland, I'm taking a role, and that role is a leadership role. Um, and if you want to know more what that looks like, Mitt Romney demonstrated it perfectly in the first presidential debate, not so much the ones after that. But uh, it projects confidence over subject matter. It's very uh, sort of uh, patriarchal. Uh, conversely, if you speak like me, I, your voice goes up and down a lot. You're a little bit nervous. You use your hands. This it suggests an explorer role. I want to actually stop talking really soon and start hearing from you. And I'm interested in going with you to a place that we can go together and in having an interaction. And conversely, if I just stand here and I listen to you talk to me, then I'm taking a very different role, one that men often aren't so great at taking, which is that of listening. Um, so what Sandy Pentland wanted to do is figure out if you could get data on these invisible signals um, using a very simple machine. So he created a machine called a sociometer that is uh, no different from your phone. It had a microphone and uh, it could pick up some gesture sort of like the accelerometer in your phone can pick up gesture when you move it around like this. And what he found when he had a large enough data set was that with just 30 seconds of sociometer data using a formula, he could predict how any exchange was going to go. So if it was like a speed date and the treasure on the table was a number to be exchanged between two people, he could predict on this sociometer data whether that number was going to be swapped. And if it was a business negotiation, he could predict who's going to come out better and who's going to come out worse because of the roles people immediately took when they started talking to one another. And what they were saying, the literal content of the conversation didn't matter. This is all invisible data that uh, we didn't know how to pay attention to ever before in human history that now just exists, that we give away to machines that we all carry around with us, that every one of us has. And the next step is just to pick it up and start listening. So this is the future that we can all look forward to. Imagine that superpower. You can actually know that about yourself and your exchanges with people. So, uh, and how would you use it? You wouldn't use it to, you know, uh, win every business negotiation ever if everybody has it, but you could probably use it to become a little bit smarter about yourself. So his partner in this research is a guy named Anmol Madan, and he started, uh, he made a startup invention off of this. Uh, you could download it on a Zara's phone, which was sort of the precursor to this uh, that didn't get around for too long, but it was an app, and it was called the Jerkometer. And it worked just like you think that it would work. You would be talking to someone, and the jerkometer would listen to your you know, hidden signals and tell you if you were being a jerk. And I would find that useful. <laughs> <laughs>